welcome back in this last video on generics let's look at something called wild cards in the previous steps we looked at how to create a generic class we created a generic method now we will use wild cards in method arguments and these wild cards can also be used in local variables and the member variables let's get started so let's say i would want to write a method which would be able to do the sum of any of the list of numbers so what do i mean let's look at it right now so let's create a static method and let's say it returns a number back so i would want to return a number back and i'll call this sum of number lists i would want to be able to accept any list that extends number class and i'll call this numbers cool right so now this question mark here is called a wild card any list of type extending number class is a valid list so any list which is extending number class can be passed as a parameter to this let's implement the logic for it so i can say instead of number let's have double as the result value it, it makes it very simple so i'll say double value is equal to 0, 0.0 and i can say for number number in numbers i can start with actually sum right double sum is equal to this so sum plus is equal to i can say number dot double value let's take double value add it in and return this sum right now this method which is present in here can be used to sum any lists so i can say sys out sum of number list and pass in list dot of let's create integer list for first one two three four five and after that i would create a double list because by default all floating points are double so this would be a double list and you can even try long list as well right so i can say list of 1l 2l 3l 4l so this would be all long literal so the list created would be of the type long right so you can see that now this particular method would be able to add all that up so you'd be able to see 15.0 15.5 and 15.0 so that's cool right so it's able to add integers it's able to add floating points and it's able to add longs this wild card in here is called a upper bounded wild card and there are other wild cards called lower bounded wild cards as well so how does that look so you can say question mark super number so you're saying the lower bound is number say void add a couple of values and now over to this particular list i can add in numbers dot add one i can add in 1.0 i can add in 1.0 f a floating point or i can even add in a long any type which is a subclass of number can be added into this particular numbers this is called a lower bound wild card now i can execute this list let's start with a simple execution of this add a couple of values and let's just create a new array list and send it out there i'll take it as a new array list of oops let's create a new variable in here i'll say list empty list is equal to new array list of number and i can say empty list in here oops it's a void so i cannot do system dot out dot print and of that so i can say sys out empty list 
and you can see that this list has all the values that we have passed in. In this video, we looked at the upper bound and also the lower bound wildcards. Upper bound helps in implementing common logic for all the lists which are extending number, which are subclasses of number. And the lower bound helps us to add a lot of different values of the types which are subtypes of number. In the last few steps, we learned a wide variety of things about generics. When we look at generics, the most commonly used type of generics is the generics with types. So this is the commonly used generics. So this is the most important thing for you to understand very well. Other commonly used generic is the one which we used with a method. So here we created a method. We declared a generic in here and used it. The other two examples that we looked at, the upper bounded wildcard and the lower bounded wildcard are not so frequently used, but it's always great to understand them. I hope you had a lot of fun in this section and I'll see you in the next section. Until then, bye-bye. This video is part of a Java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on Java. You can find the complete course details in the description of the video. Along with it, you can also find the details of a free PDF with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.